Okay, so sorry, we have time, but I'll just erase quickly in the marker. Okay, so, all right, so I have, I'm just going to draw uh, a, a line. Here's my point P, here's A and B, and then here's a diameter. So here's that's the center. That's the center O. So here's the radius. Here's PO. Okay, so what do you get now? PA times PB is what? Well, PA, I'll have to, I'm just going to call this points X and Y again. Alright. So, PA. equals XO times, uh, uh, no, it's XP times PY. This times that. Alright. Well, we have a PX here, but in this case, it's not PO minus R, okay. because PO is less than R. Yeah, so what is PX in this case? PX is R minus PO. Okay. So, PA times PB equals... P R minus P O times what's P Y? Close your parentheses, sir. But we need to we need to put P Y in there already. Right. So you have R minus P O. There you All go. Right. All right. Puts P Y. P Y. Hmm. Well, it's P O. It's PO plus R. It's this is plus that. Okay. So what does that multiply out to be? Well, actually, let's, I need to shift this around a bit. I think it's R plus PO. It's a difference of squares, but it's the sort of the inverse of our previous difference of squares. Okay. So this equals r squared minus p o squared. So there you go, the formula flips around. So outside of the circle it's p o squared minus r squared. Inside of the circle it's r squared minus p o squared. And that's sort of what needed to happen because outside of the circle this would be negative. Yeah. The distance from P to the center of the circle would be bigger than the radius. Inside the circle it's smaller than the radius. There you go. So basically the same, you end up with the same distance formula. Okay? Yep. All right. Good work this morning, huh? Good work.